Greetings and welcome everyone to my first impressions of Aces Wild. Now, before we get started, I just want to say, uh, if I do accidentally call this game Wild Aces, I do apologize. For some reason, I have this weird urge to want to call it Wild Aces. I have no idea why, but if I do accidentally call it that, I apologize. Now, with that being said, let's get on to Aces Wild. Now, Aces Wild is a very interesting game. It's it's a side scroller um, um, hack and slash, sort of like Devil May Cry and all that. And it's basically like anime fighting the video game. It's pretty damn cool. Like, there's a lot of style here. And there's also got quite a bit of substance as well. It's very challenging and it's very flashy. If there's one thing I can say about this game, it is flashy. And I absolutely love that. I am in love with like these sorts of things which just look cool to play. And this game really looks cool to play, at least to me. Um, so if you look here, so basically what we're doing right now is we just bas we're just basically beating these guys up in the flashiest way possible. That's really our main goal here is just to beat these guys up. Whoa, hey, cut that out. So now let me, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so we can attack by pressing the uh, X button. That will do a, like a little light attack. And then we can sort of do like this little spinny round thing which will evade all damage. And we can also dash by pressing the left trigger. Um... Like, RB and LB don't really seem to do anything. Um, why does that massive Mega Punch, which actually takes some of your points away from Panic, you uh, get more Panic points by just basically attacking people. If you notice that little aura around me, that's what you get from uh, beating people up, which is pretty cool. And it also makes it so that you can, like, sort of fly around in the sky more, so that's pretty neato. Oh, take that. There we go. And, like, now you can see that my Panic's empty, and I just sort of, like... I'm not as fast, I'm not as agile in the sky, I'm just sort of, like, I'm still pretty insanely powerful in comparison to, like, a normal person, but not as much as I was when I was panicked, so that's something that you want to keep in mind. Like, while your Y attack will do massive damage, you gotta try and, like, balance that out with also keeping your panic meter high, because if you don't, then you won't be able to move as quickly or uh, basically just do things as impressive, so that's something that's good to keep in mind. Um, Sir, or B seems to do something, but I actually haven't even been pressing B all this time that I've been playing the game, so I honestly don't know what it's supposed to be doing. <laughs> this is a first impressions after all, I'm not a non-expert at it, but oh my god, it's really cool how it's like, whoa, this thing's chasing me. Alright, whoa, damn it, didn't even see that. There you go, get out of here. Alright, so, um, so it's pretty cool. Now, if you do see any sort of black bars on this video, uh, I do apologize, for some reason the resolution of this game is really weird. Like, I've set it to go full screen stretched, rather than just being like, normal window thing, because it's like sprite work and stuff like that, so it's only at a set resolution allowed for some reason, and stuff like that, so... So, even though I've set it to be stretched to full screen, it still isn't like, full screen, which is just, you know, a bit odd. Alright, so now we're fighting this little doggy here, and this dog is surprisingly tough. Basically what you want to do here is you just want to just try and avoid his attacks, which I know sounds obvious, but like, you got to do this by using a lot of really flashy sort of stuff, like using your dash, which you can also, by having a higher panic, you can also dash further than you can normally. Uh, I believe it takes up panic points, so you got to keep that in mind. But it's also something that, it's good. So your whole, like, combat system seems to re revolve around keeping your panic high enough. Like, your light attacks will build up panic, but pretty much everything else will just take panic away. Except, uh, I don't think the evade sort of thing will. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, now, there is one major problem with this game, and that's playing it on a keyboard is fucking really impossible. And, like, I tried playing it on keyboard, but it's like, you gotta press space to do the flippy thing, and then you gotta do, like... W to do a basic attack, then S to do a normal thing, and it's just like, uh, this key bindings are weird, and I don't like it, and it's really weird. And I couldn't find any options to rebind keys in the main menu or anything like that, so I don't think it has rebindable keys either. So, if you do play this game, do get an Xbox 360 controller, or some sort of controller, because... That is really the way that it's, it is needed to be played. Oh, Also, you can wall jump, which is pretty neat. It's sort of like, um, what is it, Super Metroid, where you only need one wall to jump up, or is that Mega Man X? It's one of them. Basically, you only need one wall to wall jump, which is nice. Alright, oh, shit. Alright, there we go. So, uh, yeah, it's very cool how flashy it is. I absolutely adore it. 
this is amazing stuff here. Okay, so like, there's a lot of like, uh, combos that you can sort of like, like you can, there's a lot of like depth here. Like this game is like really, really tough and there's so many difficulty options as well. I think I'm on like the normal difficulty setting as well. I can't wait to like finish this game on like the first few difficulties and then maybe try and build my way up onto the higher difficulties because no way in hell am I starting off on the highest difficulty setting. This game is tough enough as is. Like I still haven't been able to beat the first area because of how tough it is. Like I, I keep getting stuck on the final boss which is just a such a nuisance. Uh, so, oh okay. Uh, it does have two players support apparently. You can do join up. That also does support like with the keyboard. So you can press like enter on the keyboard and play with the keyboard as well I believe so it's like let me just do that there we go oh whoops what happened oh I think I just paused it there we go all right so now you can like play with two people I'm I'm actually um, doing this by myself there's no other person playing so this is like really all okay not fuck that the other person is just going to die there we go oh shit um, there we go <laughs> is there any way I can get rid of that guy um, doesn't look like it oh well let's just jump through here hopefully he'll disappear Nope, he's still here. Whoa! Okay, so now we got this big dude as well. So it is like very inspired like Japanese anime and shit like that. It is pretty insane. Look at this shit. Look at it. What am I playing? Dragon Ball Z? Is this it? Am I gonna go Super Saiyan? Uh, am I? No. No, I'm not. Okay, so you want to make sure that you continually... Ah, shit. Alright, so you, if you just saw that there was like a little shield break thing. Ah, damn I did my little swelly thing too soon. Uh, there was a little shield break, that basically means we got rid of one of his health bars. Uh, certain enemies will have like multiple health bars, generally it's the bigger guys that have the bigger health bars. I love how the fact that he's going after the player 2 even though player 2 isn't even active, like he's doing nothing so he's like, it's, it's so weird that he prioritizes player 2 over player 1. So odd. Alright, whoa! Ah damn it, I did my little avoidy thing too soon. There we go, oh, take that! Shit! Ah, oh, damn it, nearly had it. So, I am pretty low on health right now, so that's no good. Ah, hey, there we go. Beat him up anyway. Sweet. Oh, there we go. Oh, so you see that? I just did a massive panic attack by holding up the Y button. Where the fuck am I? Okay, there we are. I'm down here, right. Or up there. Right, this, oh god. I need to get rid of play to you. Not know screw it. Uh, reset game. Oh, here's something that's a bit weird. You can't use the D-pad on the Xbox controller for this. That's really odd. It's like every time I press select or back, whatever, I keep going to use the D-pad instinctively, but it doesn't work at all, so that's odd. Also, something that's odd is you can press pause, and then you can also do this. It's a bit weird that they have two different buttons to pause the game, but whatever. Now, let's reset the game. Alright, so Ace is Wild, Arcade, and now let's go to what area were we on? Uh, four, I think. Um, let's play as this guy, sure. I haven't, I haven't actually played as this guy, so this would be fun. Alright, oh hey, we're actually on this stage, cool, I got it right. Um, so, so this is, oh, I just love how like over the top and totally anime this game is, it's fucking ridiculous, like, this is like Dragon Ball Z and like fucking Naruto and all that bullshit, it is ridiculous. Oh, take out. Alright, yeah, oh my goodness, so it looks like the B button does like this massive like area of effect attack sort of thing, that's pretty cool, so. Uh, oh, so it looks like this guy actually has different stats. All right, so different different characters have different stats. That's interesting. So if you look at his little panic meter in the top left, you can see it's a uh, much further along than the original one was. And I am not looking at the actual stuff that's going on screen. So if I'm doing bad, I apologize. What is my little thing? Oh, it's got like a little ninja thing. That's cool. Uh, oh, there we go. So it's no little dance move. That's interesting. I, I sort of missed the dance move. Whoop! Get out of here. Alright, so that's going to be a bit confusing trying to remember where I am when I'm also doing the ninja dash thing. Because it like it disappears on the screen. It doesn't actually just like stay visible at all. So that's going to take a little bit of, use, a bit of getting used to. Oh, take that. Ooh. Now, how did you manage to survive that shit, mate? Take that. So now you, with your Y move. Oh my god, shit. Oh god, I need to get out of here. Look at this shit. <laughs> Look at this. This is insane. Oh. Uh, Take this! Oh! oh, oh, oh. So with your Y move, you can do like it in any direction. This is awesome. Take this! Oh shit! No, you can do it in any direction. So if someone's like up above, you can just hold up and on Y and just charge up there and attack him like that. So it is a good move. It's so, like not only is it good for just attacking people, it's also good for like 
m maneuvering around in the, the level or something like that and just trying to get closer to someone. So if you want to get close, you can just sort of charge them with it. That's something to keep in mind. Ah, shit. Alright, so we've got this big dude here, Mr. Ironside. Alright, come on, Ironside, let's go. See how, see who's boss. Ah, shit, he's the boss, apparently. No, won't have any of that. Oh, sweet. Got, to, got rid of his little uh, health bar. I keep thinking it's like a guard break for some reason. I think that's just, like sort of the same animation that plays in like Kingdom Hearts when that happens. I think. Not 100% sure, but... Oh, get out of here. Oh, nice. Oh, watch out. There we go. Yeah, see, this is... So it's pretty intense. Like, this is on normal difficulty, and it still requires me to be, like, extremely fast. I love it to death, and it's not very punishing at all. Like, like it's difficult, but it's that sort of difficult where it's not just annoying to play. Like, you... It's not difficult because it's being unfair. It's difficult because, you know, it's just a challenging game. There really isn't any sections of the game where... I think, like, the game's being unfair. For the most part, like, I think all enemies have these sorts of movements that will tell you when they're going to attack and what they'll be doing and what they'll be performing and that sort of stuff. Oh! Oh, shit, I avoided the fuck out of him. How'd that happen? Um, yeah, so they'll have, like, these sort of movements that will show you that they're going to attack and then they'll perform their attack. They'll never just quickly swap into attack and then start attacking you you'll never be caught off guard you'll always be able to see what the hell's going on would you cut that out come on can i can i oh shit i need to get my panic up a bit more come on get out of here need to oh shit oh lucky there nearly got my head cut off that would have been bad get out of here oh i got him oh sweet i was trying to get my panic up so i could use the massive panic attack on him but no, that doesn't work. Ah, <laughs> panic attack. Oh, I, could, I didn't even realize I was making a funny there. Hey, I that works. I like that. All right. Uh, come on, jump up. So, yeah, you can, like, sort of, like, glide around the entire level and shit once you have, like, enough panic and stuff like that. It's pretty damn cool. Oh, get out of here. Oh, there you go. And nice. So, like, there is a lot of movement, like, when you're done, like, in the air. So, there's a lot of aerial combat and stuff like that. Most of the time, like, you won't be spending your time on the ground at all. If you're on the ground, man, you're doing it wrong. You want to be gliding about in the air like it's fucking Dragon Ball Z or some shit. Oh, shit. I messed that up. Got my, my panic attack. Managed to avoid him at the last second or something like that. Oh. Oh, <laughs> didn't see it coming, did you, mate? Get out of here. Oh, where did you go off to? All right. There we go. Actually, this this ninja teleportation thing seems to be pretty useful, actually. It seems like it has a much higher range than the uh, other attack that this guy, the uh, guy we were playing as before had, so that's pretty neato. What is this section? Is this the boss section? I think it is. No, it's not. Okay, never mind. Oh, that was nothing. Oh, it was just a cooldown period. Right. Oh, God, here's the boss. No. All right, fine. Let's go, boy. Oh, shit. So now this dog is pretty intense, oh my god. Uh, now the music in this game is actually pretty cool, it's very retro, there are a few problems with it, like the looping is sometimes a bit off, like sometimes it'll start the song, like it'll like finish a the song then it'll like start the song again in the middle of it or something like that, so that is a bit odd. Oh, got rid of you mate, yeah, take that, and that, there we go, sweet, didn't stand a chance. Oh sweet, so this is fucking, oh my god, chaining it up in here. Oh my god, I'm juggling the fuck out of him. What is this, Tekken? Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Get out of here. Oh, okay, so this boss... Oh shit, no! He's doing his little, like, pee thing. There we go. Alright, so that is a pretty intense move that you want to try and stop him before he manages to perform it because it can be pretty annoying and intense and stuff like that because um, it will basically just... Oh, it will basically just create a screen. I'm going to try this one more time and if I die, that's going to be it. So it'll basically create like a... Oh shit. Did I get hit by that? I didn't. Okay, sweet. It'll basically create a screen nuke unless you're at the very top of the screen. So if you can manage to attack him before it um, goes off, then you'll... you'll Well, you'll manage to prevent it and that'll uh, basically save you from using the screen nuke. If it, if it if if the screen nuke does go off, you basically just have to use your panic attack thing and just charge to the top in order to avoid it. So it's not like a really good screen. Oh shit. Right, if you look there, now I've got to go up to the top to avoid damage. But he can still charge up there, so you've got to be super careful here, mate. So, yeah, so it's pretty intense. Dang, go on, get out of here. Oh, where are you going? Where is he running off to? Would you stay and fight, mate? All right, so uh, so if you look at our light attacks and stuff like that, you'll notice that it's doing, like, two damage, four damage, and not that much at all. That's where the sort of, like, um... Oh, shit. 
that's where the whole like panic sort of thing comes in because panic attacks will do a lot more damage than any of the uh, light attacks and stuff like that like a regular like panic attack will do like 16 points of damage that's just uncharged as well so imagine what it will be when it's a charged panic attack so it's freaking insane it can do like I, I i think i've gotten up to like 200 or 400 damage for a panic attack and so it's yeah pretty insane oh there we go get out of here oh very nice okay so this guy has a ton of health bars my god he can take a massive beat no stop peeing on shit cut that out okay we need to make sure we juggle him also need to make sure that we don't get juggled ourselves because that can really mess up our day oh sweet he's bringing in reinforcements great that means we're making good progress oh something that you want to make sure that you do keep in mind here is that you can sort of like ricochet these dogs around so you can use these as like sort of projectiles against the other enemy oh shit nope nope avoiding there we go ah shit managed to avoid like the majority of them oh there we go yeah i managed to avoid like the majority of the freaking attacks then it's like at the very last second ah crap nope no shit jesus christ this guy dog is wrecking me it's just a dog a doggy is destroying me my god no cut that out shit oh there we go just missed out at the last second oh come on come on doggy let's go Ooh. oh shit no nope, didn't didn't work okay how much how much more health does this bastard have oh there we go sweet okay so yeah this is pretty intense come on no 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 you do not get to freaking attack me anymore mate cut it out oh god no i haven't actually been up this high i've never had three doggies oh god um where am i oh god <laughs> oh god the screen's pretty busy oh there we go all right there we go. oh shit no i'm getting destroyed ah no Ah, oh, that's a shame. Okay, so this has been pretty intense. Now let's uh, reset the game. All right, now um, you do have a boss rush mode, which is pretty cool. So you can just sort of beat like all the bosses at once, which is really nice. I like that. Um, I actually didn't play the tutorial. Should have probably done that. I'm sure that would have explained like what you have to do with the B button and stuff. Um, as far as options go, you've got like tons of difficulty. You got calm, which is the easiest. Sassy, which is normal. Wild, which is wild. Maniac, which is hard or very hard. And Maximus, which is like, basically Dante must die if you've played the Devil May Cry series. Basically, it's really, 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 really tough. Um, let's play uh, Sassy again. Uh, sound effects, you have sound effects and music. You don't have that much. Oh, set controls. Seems like you can't actually sort of like, um, rebind them. What does that do? Oh, okay. Uh, can I sort of rebind it like that? Okay. Alright. I don't know what I'm, what buttons are going to be present. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the game crashed. That's not good. Uh, games, for some reason, are crashing for me. Alright, oh, hit pause, 25% active only. That's interesting. Uh, both players, right. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, don't know what that means. But, um, yes, yeah, so this game has a few options. Set controls, I don't know what's going on there. But it seems like maybe that's for the rebinding keys thing. Maybe? I'm honestly not 100% sure how that's supposed to work. The UI for how you rebind keys can is a bit well unclear. Like, what is what is this doing right now? Am I supposed to be like pressing a button? Like, is this rebinding it to that key? Am I am I not selecting it? No. Okay. Return to game. Reset game. Right. Okay. Return to game. Oop. Um. Did I just hold on? All right. Never mind. Oh, wait. I've got my dodge thing down there selected. That was odd how it went there. All right. So um return to game and now it's like all right reset game it was sort of stuck there for some reason that was odd um anyway yeah so this has been aces wild i hope you've enjoyed it and uh, you can pick this game right right now you can pick this game up right now on the humble store for like something pretty cheap i think i don't know i actually can't remember it for the life of me and i'm not going to say something um ridiculous it's, it's not like a hundred dollars i hope anyway um yeah but i can probably recommend this game to you if you if it's like Ten dollars, yeah, this game is pretty damn cool. Or fifteen, you know, fifteen dollars. This game is actually really damn cool, and it's got like a lot of content as well. Like, look at this shit and the artwork. Oh my god, I didn't get to speak about it much, but it is pretty damn beautiful. Let's go to the rooftop section just real quick. Like, look at this. Look at that sprite work and this stuff. This is absolutely 
gorgeous and this game is like it's so difficult and stuff like that and it's just this is like my true calling this is a pretty awesome game i love it and the bounces and the movement it's like oh fantastic uh anyway i seem to have turned off the uh actual sound effects accidentally no i didn't huh why wasn't it there that's odd um anyway yep so thank you for sticking around everyone i hope you enjoyed it and uh, gg how do I exit? Uh, exit.